National Restaurant Association research indicates that Valentine's Day is actually the third most popular special occasion and holiday uh, for the American consumer. Uh, it is a day which is uh, very traditional. The interesting thing is now in the United States, not only is Valentine's Day celebrated uh, at restaurants, but also what the industry calls the off-premises occasions, which are, for example, takeout and delivery, have also become very popular. So restaurant operators do a lot of additional marketing and promotion for Valentine's Day. But the fact is now many operators look at it more than just a day. So it's not unusual to have those special celebrations and opportunities for the entire weekend or even the week. And there are certain restaurant operators that actually focus on the entire month of February. So, it so, so then to that point then, what sort of pressure is there then as someone who's perhaps either a maitre d' or perhaps someone working in the kitchen when you have these sort of Super Bowl sort of holidays? Well, a typical day in the U.S. restaurant industry, sales exceed $2.5 billion. So on Valentine's Day, the sales level nationally is only above that. And there are now over 15.6 million individuals that work in the U.S. restaurant industry. One out of every 10 people working in America actually works in the restaurant industry. And so on Valentine's Day is definitely uh, all hands on deck. Uh, the day is one whereby it's viewed as a special occasion. And so consequently, the American consumer in January spent a record uh, monthly sales volume at restaurants. And so February is continuing that trend. Uh, the consumer uh, is in a mindset to spend. And so the special occasion allows them a, an additional opportunity uh, to celebrate. And the celebration doesn't necessarily have to occur in the four walls of that restaurant now, although it is a big deal for, for the majority of the industry. Uh, the development of that takeout and delivery market uh, is something that is relatively new for the restaurant industry. You mentioned that Valentine's Day was um, the third biggest when it comes to spending when the people eat out. So what are the other two and how do they compare? Well, the first is birthdays. Uh, and then second after that is Mother's Day. So it, it's, uh, those top three really are the most important special occasions in America today. Uh, but there are a host of others, for example, Father's Day, uh, the, the December holidays. Um, and the industry continues to have more locations. There are now over one million restaurant locations in America today. And uh, in many ways, that term location is somewhat dated. We now think of it in terms of points of access because, as you know, there are now what are called as virtual or ghost restaurants developing in certain metropolitan areas whereby there's not a storefront. They are designed solely to satisfy the consumer need for that carryout or delivery occasion. So with that being said then, how much does the average person spend on Valentine's Day? That depends uh, on a lot of different factors, but for the restaurant industry overall, the average check per person on a typical day is just seven or eight dollars. Uh, and so dependent upon what the individual is pursuing, what the decision matrix is to s how and celebrate on that birthday, there can, it can range uh, dramatically from single digits up to three and four figures for sure. Now, obviously, when you have these big holidays, there can be a lot of pressure. People can get a little bit stressed out. So for those who are either celebrating by themselves or with friends or out with others, any sort of Valentine's Day tips to really help them enjoy the day? Well, I mean, basically, Valentine's Day is what we call a, a socialization day. And in that capacity, it is much easier to communicate through social media to invite your friends. Uh, technology has really impacted the way restaurants conduct business in America today. And so through smartphones, apps, it's very easy to basically create what we call social oasis moments in real time with virtually uh, no pre-planning.